What's up? Welcome back to my loft. I'm Ryan. Today I'm going to be doing my essence wish list. I'll be doing my essence private sale wish list on my TikTok, which is just that adult if you want to go see it. Okay, we're going to jump into it because I do essence wish lists quite a bit and this one's pretty hefty and pretty long. We're going to start off with Telfar. No surprise. I've talked about and chronicled Telfar's career in the fashion industry for like the last four years, I think, on this channel. And I would love this mock neck sweater. I love everything they do and the brands that they've been working with, like UGG. It's subdued, minimal statement sweater. That's what I need for this winter. You know I love anything figure distorting and you know I always pick a lumps and bumps or other figure distorting piece from Come to Garçon every time I do an Essence wish list, and this is the one. This is gorgeous. I wish this were me. I wish I could wear this every day. Now, if I worked in a fashion office, I would wear this literally every single day and nobody could tell me anything about it. Actually, I'd pull this out once a month and have everybody be like, oh, Ryan's wearing their thingy. I'm like, yes, I am. This is so beautiful. Only one remaining, I'm so jealous. This is so me living out my art artist fantasy that I would have to be a gallerist. As an artist, I would never wear this because people would be like, you think you're so special because you're an artist? Which people think that about artists. So I'd have to be like, oh, I'm distanced from the art, but I just appreciate the arts and I just love the kids and all the work that they do, you know? And I'm wearing this. And I'm talking to people and I'm mingling and I'm mixing. And I'm wearing this. Oh, ha, ha don't bump the shoulder, ha. Making corny jokes all night. They hate it. I love it. I'm living. My wife loves it. You can't, oh, you can't imagine. The next thing on my list is this La Mer lambskin jacket. Okay, this, the story that this jacket is telling me and what compelled me to be attracted to it is, there is this storytelling that's being done with it, especially in the styling in this image, where I feel like I'm a tough girl, girl, and I'm riding someone on the back of my motorcycle in France, and I'm riding someone around, and I'm so tough, so cute, we're going to a rave, somewhere weird, it's scary, you're mad, and like, I don't know, it just gives me a lot of story. And I, I've talked, every single time I do an Essence wish list, I always include a La Mer piece because it's just beautifully constructed garments. I love their ethos. I love the way that they talk about the pieces that they design and the thought that goes into them when it comes to building a wardrobe for yourself. If I could be that girl, I would be uh, the Roe, La Mer type of girl, leather type of girl. When the budget allows for it, we'll be there. Keep manifesting with me. The next piece on my wish list, and I'm gonna keep calling them pieces because I know it makes people mad, is this Y Project asymmetric top. Now, I know a lot of people have pulled issue with the concept of subversive basics. I am not even going to conceptualize this as a subversive basic. It is a asymmetric tank top with weird things going on, which is literally synonymous with subverse. I don't care. It's a nice tank top. I think it's really cool and it reminds me of 2017 when I first moved to New York and everybody in New York was wearing a white tank top and denim jeans. I feel like this would go well under that leather jacket. I think it would pair very well. I also imagine myself as very masculine, tall and strong, which I am none of those things, but in my head I really think I am. I think I look literally like the the model and um, stylist Latif Thy Native. That's who I think I look like and I don't, but in my head I'm like, that's me. I'm like, whoa, are you me? And it's like, no, but I feel that I am. And when I, when I, because I do look like that, whether you understand it or not, I do look like that. That would look so good on me, right? 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 The next thing on my list is this pair of Rick Owens Tractor Dunk Boots. These are so gorgeous. I put this on my list and I put for partying. I really would like another pair of Rick Owens boots to wear to the club. Even though the clear gum sole does give a statement and I really like the accent that it kind of creates when you put an outfit with it. I do like the laces on this and the other styles of boots similar to this, so. Like, I like the mega tooth for the same reason. I don't know, it's just something about the laces, the shape, that I feel like these would be a little bit better. Okay, back to the fact that I have juvenile style tees. This is a Rick Owens dark shadow taupe crater tunic dress. I love this, I think that this is so cool, so young, so fresh, you know. This is a moment where old bitches are losing. But I would love to wear this with a cream, really long skirt that like drapes on the floor 65 feet behind me. Not even skirt, but probably a cream and it would probably be Rick Owens custom. Everything in my house is custom, Rick. A custom Rick Owens head to toe sheath dress, head to toe? A custom Rick Owens sheath dress 
that drags on the floor six feet behind me in a beige light cream color with the white Rick Owens boots that I picked for Scorpio. I forgot what they were called in my Rick Owens shoes as astrology signs video. I would love to wear that with this tunic. I think it is so cute. It gives me dystopian end of the world. The Matrix, you know in the Matrix where they're like all dancing in the club, but it's like the end of the world and you're like, why are you in the, why do you have a club outfit? Oh my God, that, that, that's what this gives. The next thing on my Essence wish list is this Margiela puffer coat. Now this would go well with everything, but I would love to have this if I worked in an office building again to style it exactly the same way that they have it styled head to toe in the final picture on Essence. This is how I thought I looked and how I wanted to project myself when I worked in my first office job in New York. This is a spin on normal coats and the combination of the Margiela classic puff shape that they use on a lot of their accessories and garments and like the quilted puff shape that they create mixed with a puffer coat mixed with a regular winter coat like this is so many ideas that i feel like communicate such a beautiful vision it is such a dynamic piece i also love you know ooh, i was gonna say black gray <laughs> beige and white those are like my bland color palette and i really appreciate this coat in gray for, because for me it would be a statement to not wear head to toe black the next thing is this pair of R13 boots, partly for sentimental value, um, because I got invited to R13 party and I thought it was amazing and everybody there was so interesting. It was such a character study and I wish I could have filmed it and made a documentary about the night because it was a lot and nothing at all at the same time. There is something about looking back into the archives of the fashion that I've been sharing on Twitter. I have a 10 to 5 p.m. daily schedule of like archive fashion posts and something about these boots pairs well with the style and aesthetic that I have now. Like as much as I want to go sophisticated with my style, my personal styling of myself, I always like a little bit of playful youth in the way that I style myself for comfort and for a lot of reasons. And I just think that these are very cool. Let's see the price. Um, rich women, I am single. These R13 sneakers I think would pair really, really well under some of the pants that I'll be listing in this video and I've just been posting that I wanted these for a really long time uh, and I take full accountability that that is completely inspired by Giammi's styling and their Depop. This Rick Owens gray anthem long dress which I don't know if I can fully show on YouTube but this dress is something that I would definitely want. This is so my style and so up my alley. I wear the same tube top dress almost like every single week. It's just a tube dress with a slit. I wear it as a dress, I wear it as a skirt, I wear it as a layering piece, I've tied it as a scarf before, and I love pieces like this, especially with the asymmetric cup. Cut, cut, not me saying it wrong the second time too. This asymmetric cut is beautiful. I love anything Rick Owens, as you guys know. Ooh, raw edge at the hem, okay, give it up. I think it's cut really beautifully. I think it's a beautiful garment. Let me zoom in on the price because I really can't see without my glasses, giving very much Velma. Yeah, I just think it's a beautiful... Okay, the next thing on my list is this pair of Rick Owens pants. Now, I have said that I like really aspirational pieces that remind me of when I first moved to New York and I was like, geez, I bet people who work in offices can get anything that I want. I was always like, I wish I could have a salary job. I wish I could have a salary job. And when I do, I would be an Acne Studios girl, a Rick Owens girl, and a The Row girl, which I know that's a weird combination, but it would be like any singular translation of those aesthetic because I appreciate the luxury of the row, I appreciate the aesthetic of Rick Owens, and I appreciate the aspirational nature of Acne Studios. I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives me a good vibe. And these pants, that was a long-winded ass story to say I want some pants, but you know how I do. These pants remind me of that. This would be my my head-to-toe era, you know, my Rick Owens era in my office job tee of like ordering stuff brand new from Essence and ordering it to the office and picking it up the picking up the package and you know this would be my tea it still can be I'm trying to save money like I said I'm trying to get a house so I'm trying to save as much money as I can for the next like couple of years but this is I love these I love these pants I love how they would style I love the ribbed waistband that's classic and I don't know I just think these are really cool it always has to be a story one thing about it two things for certain the next thing on my list is this Dion Lee muscular twist tank top. 
Uh, again, I am very critical of and hesitant to engage in anything that reminds me of the concept of subversive basics. No criticism toward people who like it. It just isn't my tea, my gig, my gossip. But this reminds me of something floral or natural because of the shape that it creates with the cutouts and the twists or even like insect-like, which is a huge point of reference for me and inspiration for me. So I love this Dion Lee piece. It shows off the, the shoulders and the arms, which is one of my favorite things to show. I always wear tanks. I always wear bralette and bra type tops because I love my shoulders and I love my arms and showing off my strength. And I really appreciate any design that allows people, especially primarily women, to show that body part off, you know? The center of your chest is such a beautiful area. The part of your ribs is such a beautiful area. Your shoulders are so beautiful and any designer smart enough to accentuate that, yes, I appreciate it. We love intelligent design, you know? We do. Yeah, we do. This hosiery cardigan, I also really appreciate. This I would definitely wear in my office era. Not saying I would necessarily wear it to an office, but in my office era, and if I get a fashion job in person anytime soon, I will be purchasing this as my first garment. This is really cool. I think the story that this tells is office girl working in fashion busted their ass up through from internship to internship but she works in design she does not work in any other area of fashion so it is still like busting her ass because design jobs are really hard pattern making jobs she's like I work hard but you know I earn it and she has like a one a two bedroom with her friend and they are gay and that's what this says to me yeah I said it the next item on the list goes with that storyline and it's a pair of Dries Van Noten brown chunky heeled sandals. This goes with that storyline. I wouldn't say that I would wear this in the office, but this would be what I wore in my era as an office girl working in fashion, which manifests that for me right now. If anybody has any jobs that are hiring, I am available to work, period. I would wear this like after the office to go to get drinks, you know, to cool down. Or maybe we won't drink and we'll just have a sober night, but we would definitely go out and I would wear this with my little cardigan. I would keep this and these shoes in my bag. Which bag would it be? Something random, but vintage. I think these are really smart. I did abstain from engaging the flip-flop trend returning. I really didn't like it. It wasn't for me. I was like, mm, it's gonna come and go. And I like that these are chunky flip-flops and that they are like outside of the realm of the trend that I felt like was really popular. Did anybody see like a million fast fashion places selling like flip-flop, like skinny heeled sandals? I was like, this is gonna come and go. Like don't engage this. But this right here, I think exists outside of that and it's like counter fashion. This is a gauntlet chain dress. As an OG gauntlet chain stand when it was Moses gauntlet chain, I appreciate this dress a lot. Again, this is something I would pack in my purse after my design job. I always feel like what they design is always funny and fun and has a, de a design, not design element, has an element of whimsy to it. It's like intelligent whimsy where they're like, this is kind of hard, but kind of silly. So like the frilly, sheared nature of it, I think it's fun, but it's also kind of serious and kind of cool and tough. Okay, the next thing on my list is this gorgeous helmet laying dress, which attracted me to it because the model looks just like that designer El Barbado. I really like this as well. My hel I'm in my helmet laying era right now, old bitch is winning, period. And I'm not afraid to say it, old bitch is winning. Like, I'm in my helmet laying era because I feel like once you become a woman of a certain age, which I am not, but I'm still that, you, you step into your helmet laying the row type of moment, your Andy Meester type of moment. I do have for myself a reasonably juvenile style, but I am stepping into adulthood. I've been wearing my helmet laying zip up um, sleeve jacket every time I go out to show people, yes, I am over 25, yes, yes, I'm old, yes, I know. And I feel like this would help me step into that. This is something I would possibly wear to the office with my jacket on top because you know you don't want to show too much arm in every office but you know I might give it up to girls like this okay like I said I'm back on my grown man stuff I'm wearing this Anna Mula Meester black ribbon slip dress I think this is gorgeous this isn't even that expensive is it oh yeah it's $1,400 well that's not that expensive I'm kidding I think that this is divine. I would love to wear this. I think I'm gonna try to probably get this for my birthday this year or make something similar. I would love to wear this for my birthday or something similar. You know I love Anna Mila Meester. If you don't follow me on TikTok, my whole storyline of my life. Ooh, I love, I love this pooling dress. Oh, I have it. I have it on the list later. 
My storyline for my life on TikTok is that I am manifesting that I'm going to be a rich art gallerist married to a rich wife. And she works in, we don't know what, she's problematic. She's more like science and math oriented. She doesn't really care about the humanities, but I'm teaching her, I'm teaching her. And I wear a lot of Andy Milmeester and I walk around on Second Ave because for some reason I keep seeing a lot of lesbians on that street who look like they work in the art industry. I don't know, does anyone know the history behind that? What is that? Um, and I wear a lot of Andy Milmeester and like this would be very much that tea. I like saunter into the room inappropriately wearing this at a bar or other restaurant where people are like, you don't have to wear that here. You don't have to wear that here. And I'm wearing it there. But I would have on different lingerie underneath and it would look very hot. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Gag. No, I just dragged this exact style of sandal and it's on my list. The hypocrite leaped out. But y'all know me, I be lying. Okay, the brown Constance heeled sandals. Um, I think these heels are cute because mm. I like the quality of the row and I love the leathers that they use and I love the taste. This reminds me of Ashley Olsen. You know that's one of my idols. Actually, I primarily focus on Mary Kate and I always have my whole life, the whole time I stand them. But this reminds me of Ashley and I really like it. I like to stand outside of somewhere with huge billowing pants, an oversized fresh dive vintage t-shirt, smoking a cigarette with a big black cardigan over it a cloak over my head, so I can't smoke the cigarette, then I'll cut a hole through and smoke it. But yeah, that's my life. Okay, next on my wish list is this Martine Ali Silver Flower V1 Single Earring. I love Martine Ali's jewelry, but yeah, I have underestimated over the last few years the power of accessorizing and how that allows you to fashion an identity for yourself. In my styling, I love accessorizing for other people. On me, because I can't wear jewelry, I don't. You know, I wear a necklace because it's straight down and sometimes I can't feel it, but I can't wear like one ring because I have OCD, because I have neurodivergence, whatever. But this singular earring is really cute and it's giving it up and I love it. And I feel like it would pair well with my style, no? No? Bonjour? No? Okay. The next thing on my list is this Flemings hoodie because I want to visit Los Angeles and I want to visit like other like places with like beaches and I want to wear this like on the beach and like give it up I don't know I just love all my film and stuff and I want to add to my collection and it's always really high quality pieces and I always want things that are black from Flemings and they always sell out really quickly why do I keep saying always they're literally every single size is selling out as we speak so annoying. I can never win I'm a victim Oh, uh, and it's always available exclusively at Essence. I think when they did the cargo pants in black, it was an, an Essence exclusive, and I was like, but I wanted that. And it sold out. So I would like to get this hoodie. If I wasn't saving, I would, and I still might. I'll put it in my cart. So that was my Essence regular website wish list. I hope you guys liked it, and you like my explanations for things. If you do, let me know if you hate me. Also, let me know. I appreciate learning that and getting to be a better person and whatever. Keep empowering yourself to DIYing, sharing your thoughts and creativity. I love you all so much more than life. Have a great day. Don't lose yourself. Bye. I'm going to watch Tiger King too. I'm problematic just like my wife.